Hello world, so today we will go through some basics here regarding batteries and here you have some uh, some batteries uh, actually I have ordered them quite recently and what I will do uh, and what is important to do is actually to place the date when you bought them because uh, after a while they get these batteries will get charged and uh, it's good to know uh, when yeah when you when you bought them um, and as uh, I could see from my order I was specifically looking for uh, low drain batteries and actually this is uh, let's take a look some of them is silver oxide oxide batteries with uh, 1.55 uh, voltage so uh, silver oxide the uh, primary cells comes in two types you have low drain and high drain low drain cells have a high internal uh, resistance and therefore cannot provide much current and that means they are not so good in application which uh, requires uh, a high current drain um, for example uh, watch with uh, backlight or with an alarm um, and uh, yeah the low drain cells has a low rate of self discharge and they are very resistant to, le to leakage of the electrolyte which would uh, damage the movement therefore they should always be used except in any cases where a high drain cell is clearly required. So low drain cells are suitable for all normal analog watches or digital watches with no special functions. Uh, most digital watches today are multifunction and require, require a high drain silver oxide cell or more commonly a lithium cell which is 3 volt. So all of these batteries are low grain. I will show you what I mean. For example, I have this. This is my oldest watch from 2012, and it's a Geechok. And uh, this has uh, backlight and several functions. So um, this would probably need a high drain cell battery, which is three volt not one of these this is low drain so if you take up all of these uh, functions uh, then possibly possibly yes then you would need a low drain battery so that was a little bit a uh, lesson uh, which i learned from the school and it's important to take notes and this is what i will be doing now place all these uh, these little notes on the batteries um, and here I, I, I got some a movement which I have been cleaning and I will make a video of that later and uh, yeah I will I will show you a discharge this shard this sort of English I will show you a discharge uh, cur curve of the battery soon uh, where I will show you the mercury which is 1.35 volt and silver oxide 1.55 volt and lithium which is 3 volts so i hope uh, you found this information useful and um, thank you